Good morning, my dear students. My name is Mrs. Laura Upshin. I am your class teacher. Today, I'm going to teach you English literature. And the first chapter is Knowing Saves the Way. Introduction This is a story about a little boy knowing who is the son of a fisherman. There is a terrible storm one night and the next morning Noe finds a baby whale washed up on the shore. So the boy helps the whale and saves its life. Noe and his father lived on an island. Noe and his father lived on an island. Do you know what is an island? An island is a piece of land with water on all four sides. Noe was a little boy who lived with his father on an island. The house was very close to the sea. Noe's father was a fisherman. Every day he left early for a long day's work on his fishing boat and came back home only after dark. Noe's father was a fisherman. Like how your father is a doctor, an engineer, or working in the bank, in the or in the office. Same way, Noe's father was a fisherman. He used to go for fishing early in the morning and he used to return back when it gets dark. One night, a great storm raged around the house. In the morning, Noe went down to the beach to see what had been left behind by the storm. As he walked along the seashore, he spotted something in the distance. What's that? He asked himself. One night, a great storm raged around the house. Do you know what this means? It means that a very violent storm took place outside the house. After the storm, early in the morning, Noe, he went to the beach. He wanted to see what is left behind by the storm. When he was walking in the beach, he saw something. He was watching it. He spotted it. He was watching it. He wanted to know what it is. He went closer to it. And he asked himself what it is. He was wondering. Every day he used to go for a walk, he had never seen this before. But after the storm, when he went, he saw it. He was wondering what it is. When he got closer, Noe could not believe his eyes. Oh my, that's a baby whale, he exclaimed. A little whale was lying on the beach. It must have been washed up because of the storm, Noe thought. When he went closer, he saw it was a baby whale. He was surprised. He was shocked to see a baby whale. A little baby whale lying on the beach. He thought it must have washed up because of the storm. He was looking at the baby whale. He was thinking, how did this baby whale came? Then he realized 
that it is because of the storm. He wondered what he could do to help the whale. He knew that it wasn't good for a whale to be out of water as it could not survive on land for long. So he was wondering what he could do to help the whale. You know like fish, whale, if they are out of water, they will die. So he started thinking, how can I save it so that it survive? Now children, do you know what is the meaning of survive? Survive means to continue to live in spite of a difficult or dangerous condition. So now he started thinking, how can I save this little baby whale? I don't want it to die. I want to save it. Just then, Noe remembered something. He ran home and got a bucket. He filled the bucket with water from the sea and poured it over the whale. Noe had once read that if a whale is washed ashore, one should pour cold water on it. So Noe, he ran back home. He brought a bucket. He filled the bucket with water and he poured the water on the whale. Because he had one read in one of the books that it was written when you see a whale in the beach, you just pour water on it. So he did the same. He brought a bucket, filled it with water and poured it on the whale. Now, I must be quick. He thought he ran home again and brought back his pull cart with much difficulty. He lifted the whale and then put it in the cart. Now he went back home again. He brought his pull cart. Children, do you know what is a pull cart? A pull cart is something with wheels. You can put something in it and tie it with a string, rope and pull it. So he went back and he brought his pull cart and he managed, he struggled. But he put the whale in it and tied a rope and pulled it to his house. He was home. He filled his bathtub with cold water and put the whale in it. I hope I have done enough to save the baby whale. Noe thought hopefully. Now, Noe thought that I put water on the whale, I brought the whale home and put the whale in the bathtub. Now, I hope. Do you know what is the meaning of hope? Hope means wish that something good will happen. So, Nuhi did all these things and he was hoping that now the whale will be Fine, it will be okay. Nui did everything to make the whale feel at home. He told the whale stories about his life by the sea with his father. He thought that his new friend was an excellent listener. Now, Nui sat beside the whale and started talking to the whale. And he kept on telling the whale different stories like about his father, about him, how they came to the, uh, to the island and other things. And he thought, no, he thought that the whale is a good listener. The whale is listening to him. So he was very happy that the whale is an excellent listener. When it became dark and the night drew in, Noe got worried. Father will be very angry with me for bringing a whale inside the house. 
Now it was getting dark and it was time for Noe's father to return back home. So he was getting very worried. He was thinking his father is going to scold him, going to shout at him. Now he was thinking what will he tell his father when his father returns home. When his father returned, Noe did not tell him anything at first. He managed to keep his secret the whole evening. He even managed to sneak in some supper for the whale. But he knew he would not be able to keep a secret for long. And he was right. So he was quiet. He was not telling his father about the whale. While they were having dinner, he sneaked in some supper. Sneak means to do something secretly, quietly. He took the dinner and he gave the veil. But he was not telling his father anything. Children, do you think it is right to hide something from your parents? No, it is not right. You should share your problems with your parents. Tell them. The problem what you are facing, I'm sure they will help you. After supper, Noe's father went upstairs and saw the whale. Then Noe had to tell his father everything. But his father wasn't angry. So Noe said, Can we please keep the baby whale, father? It's the only friend I have now. I'll take great care of it. Now, when Noe's father went upstairs, he saw the whale. When he saw the whale, he was surprised to see the whale in his room. Then Noe had to tell him everything. But his father was not angry. So Noe told his father, Father, can I keep this whale? I will take care of it. And it is the only friend I have now. Noe and his father was living on an island. They were living in the island. So he was alone. He had no friend. So he thought if he keep this whale, the whale will talk to him, play with him. So he told his father, we can we keep this whale and I will take care of it. I have been so busy knowing. I never realized that you were so lonely, said Noe's father sadly. I am so happy and proud of you for helping this little whale. But you see Noe, it must be missing its family. We must take it back to the sea. To the place where it belongs, he added. Now Noe's father told Noe that he was very sorry for leaving Noe alone at home. He said he was very sad. But he was happy and proud because Noe helped the little whale and saved the whale's life. But... Noe's father told him that you have your father here. But the whale is also missing his father, mother, brother, sister. So this is not his place. His place is in the sea. So let's go and leave the whale in the sea. Noe and his father put the whale in a motor boat and rowed out into the dark sea. Then they put the whale back into the sea water. Noe knew it was the right thing to do, but it was hard for him to say goodbye. However, he was glad his father was there with him. Now, Noe and his father took the whale, put it in the motor boat and rode out into the dark sea they went 
to the sea and they put the whale back into the sea water. Noe was very sad to tell his friend goodbye. But he was happy that his father was there with him. His father was supporting him. His father was taking care of Noe. Noe often thought about the storm whale and wondered how big it would become one day. He hoped that soon one day he would see his friend again. Noe often thought about the storm. When the storm took place, what happened? How the whale came to him? He used to think and even used to think that maybe one day I will see the whale. But now the whale must have grown big. He used to think, he used to imagine all these things. This story is adapted from the storm whale by Benji Davies. Children, it is very important to help each other. See how Noe helped the whale? Children, do you know what is a whale? Whales are the largest animal on earth and they live in every ocean. There are 90 species of whale. Example like blue whale, killer whale. If you want to know more about whale, surf the net. Tell your parents to help you. Learn more about whales. It is very important to protect the natural world. Yes, children. When you go to school, you take your water bottle to school. And when you return back to your home or your boarding school, you throw that water. Don't throw it. Put it in a plant. The plant will grow. Don't waste the water. When you go to play in the garden, in the field, don't pluck the leaf. It is growing. It looks so beautiful. Don't do it. Don't pluck small mangoes or any fruit from the tree and destroy it. Let it grow. Let it get ripe and enjoy it. It is our duty to save the natural world. Children, there are exercises given here. Read the chapter, understand the chapter and do the exercise given below. Understand them. The exercise are related to the chapter. If you have any problem, talk to me in the group and ask me whatever question you want to. Thank you and have a nice day.